Hi students, the purpose of this video is to explain the Champion Developer Program, which is being imparted to all the students of St. Mary's group of institutions, Deshmukhi. The fundamental problem that we're trying to solve through this uh, program is most of the students uh, after their four years of engineering uh, are not able to find good jobs, right? Uh, most of the students today are struggling. And I think the class of 2024, that is the students who are graduating in 2024 will probably have the worst placements in Indian history. We're going through a recession. Infosys is not going for campus placements. So there are a lot of challenges today. Now, companies usually are a little scared of hiring freshers, a lot of them, and prefer experienced people. So what if these students who finish their B.Tech are already job ready in the sense that they bring in the qualities that an experienced candidate has. I will explain this through an example. There is one particular uh, product startup which was founded by St. Mary's alumni. One of your 2012 pass outs of St. Mary's started a company. They're based out of America. They reached out to us and they asked us to hire a team for them. And they said they want to hire people with one to two years of experience. I asked, why do you want to hire people with one to two years of experience? They said that usually when we hire freshers, they don't understand things quickly. It takes a lot of time and energy to make them understand what is to be done. And then they need a lot of spoon feeding. They can't figure things out on their own. But if it's an experienced guy, that guy will go to Stack Overflow here and there, uh, figure it out and then do it. And if you explain a little, the person will also ask some doubts, understand it quickly. I asked, what if I can give you a few freshers with the same qualities, would you be willing to hire? They said that would be fantastic. We would love to hire such freshers who can comprehend things quickly and who can also figure things out on their own. Now, this is a project maturity, right? That somebody who's ready for a project. Now, how does somebody get ready for a project? It's something like this. Let us say you're a bowler and you're used to playing only tennis ball cricket and suddenly you're asked to play leather ball cricket. It takes 10, 15 matches to get used to leather ball cricket and understand how to you know play at that stage. So similarly, for somebody who's used to only writing code as an individual project, right? For personal interest, you might make a project, but that project may not have good practices. Let us say you're learning full stack development and you write a Node.js code. You end up writing all the code inside one file. But in reality, we create a folder structure, we follow some good practices and make sure the code is scalable. So what if students can get that level of thought process? This is what we're trying to do through the Champion Developer Program. Now, as a result, students are not being made to memorize syntax and write syntax. One very unfortunate thing about all the training institutions today is they teach students how to by heart some code and how to write that code. To be honest, syntax doesn't matter because if you really know what you're trying to implement and if you really have your approach, you can always copy paste the syntax from Stack Overflow. And this is what best of developers do. They go, they find snippets of code, they paste it. And if they think that code is not as per the requirement, they go modify it. And they also use chat GPT extensively to get some snippets and they modify what chat GPT does. It's like they use chat GPT and stack overflow like their assistants, but why they come in is to modify it and configure it as per what the product requires. They don't waste time on smaller things. They focus on the bigger things. So in this champion developer program, what we're doing is we're giving you a code, making you play with the code, explaining the entire code, like a story, right? And in case your teacher does not explain that code to you like a story, do reach out to us. We have three IRs per section. Through them, you can reach out to us and we'll change your teacher in case your teacher is not explaining your code like a story. Now, one more thing is we are hiring youngsters as your teachers. Now, why am I hiring youngsters? The reason why I'm hiring youngsters is we would like to give you that industry orientation. So today, if I want to hire a very, very good product oriented developer, it's uh, the super expensive, the time is super valuable. But what if I can hire a youngster who's just graduated this year, who's, you know, about to start his or her journey with, you know, deep thought. So if that person comes as a teacher for you, that person is actually working on a project. That person knows the practical difficulties of somebody who's able to start, who's about to start his or her career. So few such youngsters have guided some of your college mates. Harini, Niharika, uh, Sirichandana, uh, Pardu, Vishwa, Gauravapadhyay, uh, Diksha, 
all these people were guided by these people who were just starting their career in our company. So when they got guidance from somebody who's just starting the career in a software company, your batchmates were able to, or your college mates were able to understand what is the difference between normal coding and the kind of coding that happens inside a software company. Now you'll be very happy to hear that we're introducing you to five different things. I'm sending a PDF also. Along with this video, I'm sending you a PDF link also. So you can go through that PDF and you'll get a sense of what these initiatives are. One is monthly ones we want to conduct a bug bounty contest. That is, we give you a code. The code has bugs. You have to identify the bugs and the ones who uh, identify the most number of bugs are the best set of bugs. They get a small price. So during this Diwali time, we are doing a bug bounty. And second, uh, we're doing a pseudo code contest where we give you a problem and we ask you to write two or three different pseudo codes. That is two or three different approaches to solve the same problem. Third, architectural thinking contest where I give you like 2000 lines of code and ask you to organize that code into different files and folders. And apart from that, we'll introduce you to different architectures and you can draw flow charts as per that architecture. So it's okay if you go slow. I mean, generally, uh, somebody goes as an architect only after five years of uh, uh, experience in a space, but why not? What if you can get a little bit of architectural thinking in your college itself? So the architectural thinking challenge, the pseudo code challenge, the bug bounty challenge, then one spont spontaneity challenge, spontaneity challenge in the sense that uh, we'll give you a problem, a real world problem and ask you to come up with solutions for it. You get only five minutes and We'd like to see how many different solutions you can come up with. This tests your spontaneity and lateral thinking uh, both. So these are the kind of challenges we're doing. There are five of them. You can read them in the document. So through all of these, we want to, you know, I think I'd like to measure the success of this program through three numbers. First is we'd like to have uh, around 200 students who get a technical skills certificate. We are, we are now developing a uh, certification program where we're teaching you chat prompt uh, chat gpt prompt engineering python so um, you know what is it that you can do with programming and ai with programming in ai what are the possibilities we're coming up with a small certification program so we'd like at least 200 to get that skills uh, certificate that's one success parameter for us and uh, second uh, and of course that certificate is would come in when you're able to you know develop something and show us uh, with the help of ai and python Second success parameter is um, we're looking at 80 students uh, completing the uh, CTO program and we'd like the students to publish a white paper, a technical white paper at the end. Uh, the white paper would be a great addition to the resumes of the students. That's the second uh, metric. First metric is 200 students completing the uh, skills program and you know coming up with a small project at the end of it. Second is 80 students completing the CTO program and coming up with a technical white paper at the end of it. And of course, my most important metric is by mid-December, we would like to have at least 50 students, first year students, especially doing an internship with Software Hub. Because if people are doing an internship with Software Hub and you understand how a company works, right? How, how do you take a new project? How do you understand a project? How do you break it into pieces? How do you review it? How code reviews happen? How a company, how a team actually functions? How high quality code is sort of produced? I think if this kind of uh, exposure is evidenced by students. I think uh, uh, our students would get uh, high quality placements, placements that every college gets, but getting higher quality of placements, getting into very exciting careers is what I think uh, the challenge is about, right? So this is what we'd like to do. You've got some really inspiring people in your campus and uh, we're hiring them very carefully. We're taking them through three different rounds. And even after they get selected through the three different rounds, we are uh, putting them through a learning period where we're training them on teaching also apart from you know the technical things and that's when they're coming and teaching you in the classrooms so we hope that you would utilize this opportunity and ask all your doubts to these young mentors and uh, make the most of the champion developer program so do go through this uh, pdf that i sent across and uh, i'm very happy to have conversations with the students on uh, how you can make use of this opportunity and how you can grow at any time you want to meet us you can come down to software hub and uh, you can meet us, right? So thank you, students. Looking forward to a vibrant tech environment at St. Mary's Deshmukhi. Thank you, everyone, for listening to me.